Now let's get started with creating new documents inside of Dreamweaver. I've returned back to the My First Site site definition, which we made in previous videos. And if you are following along, I encourage you to do the same. So, how do you go about creating the basic structure of what we want to be doing with this website? Now, you may remember in a previous video how I mentioned a little bit about the root folder and the structure that we were working with. Well, here is our root folder, but we don't have anything inside of it. And one of the first things we want to put inside of this is a new file, an index.html file. Now, we can do this in a number of ways. Number one, I can come right to the Files menu, and I can right-click on this and just say New File. And in doing so, it would go about creating a file for me that says untitled.html, which I could rename index.html. And just as easy as that, we have a new page to work with. If you were to double-click that page, you would see a blank page with nothing on it in the design view. But if you go to the split screen or the code view, you'll notice that I have a number of HTML tags created. And that's the beauty of working inside of a Dreamweaver environment, is unlike a simple text editor, when you create a new file, Dreamweaver actually gives you the basic skeletal structure of those files. So I'm going to quit this for a second, or actually close that for a second, just by clicking on the little x. And let's take a look at another way of creating a file. You could also go to the File New, or Command N, or if you're on a PC, Control N. Clicking on that window creates, or opens rather, this new document window. And inside that new document window, you can create from any number of different files. And there are four separate columns that we're dealing with here. Notice in the first column, it gives you the option of creating a blank page. And those blank pages are among many different types. You can create something from a blank template. So if you had a template that you've created, you can work with that. You could create a fluid grid layout, which we will be talking about later in another video. Or if you'd created your own templates, you could create a page from one of those existing ones. You could create a page from a sample, and these are sort of CSS samples. These are not really um, sample pages per se. They're just sample styles and sample color schemes working with a CSS environment. There's also mobile starters here, which will give you some jQuery mobile functioning. And we'll talk about that a little bit later, too. And there's other types of pages, which are mostly for programming. You'll see C-sharp or ActionScript pages that you can create. But we're not really interested in any of these within the context of this particular video. So if we go back to our blank page, you'll see in the second column there are page types. You can create a simple HTML page as we will be doing, or templates, or as you can see in here, CSS, JavaScript. Those are very common types of pages that you will be probably creating when you're working in Dreamweaver. In the third column, you'll see layout. Now layout is something that we are going to be concerned with when we're working inside of Dreamweaver. The first option is none. Well, what that means is a blank page with just the skeleton of the HTML, but nothing else. However, there are these starter pages that you can work with. And as you can see here, if you're very new to CSS and HTML, and or perhaps if you just want to get up and running very quickly, these layout pages, these starter pages, are really quite easy to work with. And they give you some different options. You have to clean them up and sort of work with them, but they give you a lot of the most common options that you'll see. So for example, one column fixed and centered, one column with a liquid layout, two columns with a sidebar on the left. You can even have things like three columns or three columns with a header and a footer. So there are all a number of different types of files. There's even HTML files with two columns fixed, right sidebar, header, footer, and three columns with header and footer. Well, HTML5 brings me to the last remaining column. I'm going to go back to layout none. And as you can see here, the most important element that you can be working with is the doc type. Now, the doc type, as you'll notice, 
is something that I can choose from, and there are many different types of doc types. Well, if you're working with CS6, the most the defaulted doc type is going to be HTML5. If it's not, I will encourage you to change it to HTML5. The more common doc types that we are probably going to see the most are either going to be H XHTML 1.0 transitional, or now we are moving towards the newer doc type, which is a HTML5 doc type. And I will encourage you to work within this doc type. Everything that we're going to be creating in this video is going to be exploring the use of HTML5. And I'll get you up and running and show you how to do just that so that we can make things work really nicely. Also, if you had an existing CSS style sheet, you could attach it using this little icon right here. But given that we're just starting things from scratch and we're working from the very basic beginning structure, this is what we're going to choose, and we don't have a CSS file to go with it. So I can go about creating a file. You'll notice it's got the same doc type, the HTML5 doc type that we had when we created it here. But do notice that this has not been saved yet. It says Untitled 1, whereas the one that we created, we were able to give it a name when we right-clicked inside the Files menu. So this one would have to be saved. So if I wanted to, I could come to File Save, and I could save it in a specific area. You'll notice my root folder is located on the desktop, where more than likely yours is. And let, let me just say if I name this test.html, notice now test.html happens to be right here. So these are two different ways of creating your pages, and probably the most common ones that you're going to be using. I, however, generally prefer the right-click on the root folder method that we were working with first and foremost. By the way, if you want to delete a file, first of all, I'm going to come here and hit the X to close that file. But if I wanted to delete this, just select it and hit, or right-click rather, and go to the Edit menu, and you can work with Delete, just like that. And it'll usually ask you, do you want to delete the file? And we'll say yes. All right, so now that we've created a simple page and double-clicking it, we'll open up that page. When we come back, we're going to create some very basic structure inside of this HTML page.